racer or just the guy that has to get the maximum performance out of your electric motor, this is a video you're going to want to see. A few weeks ago, I get this email in my inbox, and it's from Mini Pro USA. And to be honest, I haven't heard of the company. I'm sorry. Uh, but I open up the email, and there's this note that says, Hey, Greg, I'd like you to check out our motor dyno. Let me know if you're interested. And there's a link to the website. Click over to the website, and I see this unit here basically all over the site and it's a beautiful site they did a great job on it and it's all this information about the motor dyno and and what you could do with it charts that you could uh, take uh, on their software with uh, about the kv ratings uh, the voltage uh, input and output of the the motor and everything uh, just lots of cool information so basically I, I immediately wrote back and said hey i gotta have this uh, send it on over a week later it arrives on my doorstep how awesome is that so what I've done here is I've taken everything out. I'm going to go over what you get when you pick up one of these Mini Pro USA motor dynos, uh, show you what the quality is about, some of the electronics and stuff. Um, this is just going to be basically an unboxing video, getting to know the dyno, uh, and I'm going to follow it up with a dyno uh, review later on, show you actually how it works and everything. But uh, I really felt it needed two videos on its own, one so you could see what it's all about, and then the second one, of course, will be it running, which I know a lot of you want to see right now, but, you know, just trying to build up that excitement. Okay, so I laid out everything that comes in the kit over here on my workbench, and let's just go through some of the stuff that you get. All right, so first up, you get the flywheel and cage assembly. As you can see right here, it comes pre-assembled just like that. It comes with this base, and the base gets screwed onto the bottom of the flywheel assembly. And over here we have the belt that drives everything and once you hook up the motor. It comes with two pulleys. It comes with a 3.175 millimeter shaft style pulley and then a 5 millimeter shaft style pulley. We've got a temperature sensor. We selected with our kit the 54550 motor mount. There is a different motor mount for outrunner style motors. Over here we have the voltage sensor. We have some hardware, USB cable, and of course the instruction manual. Let's take a closer look at the flywheel assembly here. Now the flywheel is actually inside this this big red disc inside here. That is your flywheel and Mini Pro offers a, a variety of different flywheels depending on what size motor you you plan on running and testing. Uh, they have different weights to them. This outside cage here this is also machined aluminum beautifully anodized black and of course you can see it's got the logo etched in here and this is the pulley here that gets bolted to the flywheel and outside here we have this bracket for the outside shield where the belt is now moving over to the back side we have the control board here we have these switches up top here they they adjust several different things uh, one is for setup mode uh, we have uh, adjusting the timing frequency we have factory reset so these switches do a number of things and it's all explained on Mini Pro's Wikipedia page. Uh, over here we have a plug for the optional LCD screen. Here we have the throttle sensor input port. We have the voltage port and we have two temperature ports over here. We've got the USB plug that hooks it up to your computer and we have a reset switch over here. On the bottom we have a number of screw holes and that helps you mount this to the base plate. I did go ahead and remove the board from the back of the case so you can see the optical sensor here and the pickup on the flywheel. Let's take a closer look at the mounting components. Here's the base plate itself. Now this is also machined aluminum beautifully anodized black. And as you can see there's a number of holes in the bottom of it here and those meet up with the holes in the bottom of the flywheel. So you attach the two together with the included hardware. And it also has these holes here so you can mount the uh, base plate to another, like perhaps larger block of wood in order to keep everything stable. Now, here's an additional motor mount and, and this is a in-runner motor mount. They also offer a out-runner motor mount. And when you're selecting your dyno uh, on their website, you choose between either of the two. And this basically bolts to the end here and this does 540 and 550 style motors and it's on a slide so once you put your motor in there and you have everything lined up everything bolted together this allows you to align the pulley assembly here and make sure it's running true here are the additional electrical components that come with the kit all right first over here we have the temperature sensor and this is just a loop that gets wrapped around the motor 
And over here is the voltage sensor. This does require a little bit of assembly. We have these two Dean's connectors here that need to get soldered onto the board. And then we have our sensor wire that plugs into the voltage sensor and jumps over to the main board on the back of the flywheel unit. And as you would expect, they do include an instruction manual. This gives you all the information you need from what the different components are to hooking up your sensors, downloading your software, and even how to use the machine. Mini Pro also includes a USB cable so you could hook it up to your laptop or your PC. So what is our first impression of the Mini Pro Dyno? Well, we're quite impressed. We really like the quality of this unit here. It, the machining is just fantastic. The electronic work looks awesome on it. And uh, with the software that we downloaded on our computer, uh, we really just can't wait to review this thing. Uh, we're actually going to jump right on it. We're going to move some other projects aside because we just need to try this thing out. Hope you enjoyed the video and, and a look inside the Mini Pro Dyno. Uh, please subscribe to our videos if you haven't. We don't want you to miss that review video coming up. Uh, if you have a comment about it or you have some questions about it, please put it in the comment section below and we'll try to get to it uh, when we do do that review. And uh, of course, we'd appreciate a thumbs up too.